Hi guys! Are you struggling with weak connectivity in your expensive warehouse? Today in this video, we will discover how PoE extenders are making waves in the industrial, providing unparalleled reach and efficiency for your network infrastructure. And whether it's troubleshooting, optimizing your network, or staying ahead with cutting-edge technology, our solution page here have you covered. You can visit it through the link down in the description box below and embark on your technology adventure today. In the bubbling world of large warehouses, seamless connectivity isn't just about convenience, it's the lifeblood of efficient operation. Yet, the sprawling expanse often gives rise to coverage limitation and frustrating dead zones where connectivity falters. And here's the PoE extender step onto the scene as a potential savior. This device holds the promise of bridging the connectivity gaps, ensuring the heart of this expansive operation beats with uninterrupted data flow, ultimately propelling large warehouse into a new era of efficiency and productivity. PoE stands for Power over Ethernet. It is a remarkable technology that revolutionized the way devices are powered and connected in network setup. With PoE technology, both power and data can be transmitted over a single Ethernet cable, eliminating the need for a separate power supply. It simplifies installation, reduces costs, and allows for greater flexibility in device placement. PoE extender serves as the bridge between switch and devices located at a great distance. By amplifying and regenerating signal, PoE extender ensures the network coverage is seamless, even in the furthest corners of this expansive space. And the benefits of using PoE extender in warehouse setup include simplifying infrastructure with power and data over a single cable, reduces cabling complexity, enhances the flexibility and scalability for evolving warehouse need. So they are the key to unlock the full potential of expensive warehouse. The first crucial step in deploying PoE extender is to conduct a comprehensive assessment of the warehouse layout. Identify areas with weak or no connectivity as well as potential obstacles that could hinder signal propagation. And take note of the critical zones where seamless network coverage is paramount, such as order processing station and inventory management areas. This assessment serves as the foundation for strategically placing PoE extender to address a specific pain point. And the next step is to select the appropriate PoE extender tailored to the unique requirement of the space. Consider factors such as the desired range of signal extension, number of devices to be connected, and the required power output. So next, I'm going to introduce you to some of our PoE extenders. So first, let's talk about our classic outdoor PoE extender. Now, this extender is an economic and convenient solution to extend PoE cable over 100 meters, support 100 megabit per second that the transfer rate it is compatible with IEEE AO 2.3 AF AT and BT standard, support 60 watts of power, and it does not need any complicated configuration because it offers plug-and-play installation. It is IP67 waterproof rated, which is ideal for outdoor application. Also, it has a unique design, allows you to mount those PoE extender together just like this. It does not require any external tool to mount them together. So now you can have a really clean and neat setup. You can extend those extender. And actually with two PoE extender, which is our Ethernet extension kit, ensure up to 1,500 feet, that is 300 meters uninterrupted continuous PoE cable between the extenders. And there's nothing else in between. You can place the extenders on both sides. And next, let me introduce you to this one. 
This is our outdoor BT Gigabit PoE extender. It allows one PoE in and two PoE out beyond 100 meters with Gigabit Ethernet and 30 watts high power output. It is also IP67 waterproof rated. Last but not least, we have this. This is our 95 watts two port waterproof PoE extender and it also equipped with one PoE in and two PoE output port and supply up to 30 watts and 60 watts output power and it support up to 1000 megabit per second data transfer rate and it's IP67 waterproof rated with aluminum vandal housing proving and the working temperature range is from minus 40 degrees up to 75 degrees this is ideal for a harsh environment and instead of individual PoE extender you can consider deploying a long-range PoE switch they're designed to extend both power and data over a longer distances simplifying the setup and reducing potential point of failure now let me introduce you to our 8 port long range PoE switch. Now this one here has 8 100 megabit per second PoE port and 2 gigabit Ethernet uplink port and also compatible with IEEE 802.3 AF and AT standard support up to 30 watts of power output in maximum and also enable 500 meters PoE connection between the switch and the HPDs. So now, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the setup for today. So as you can see, the connection is behind me. We are connecting to a bullet camera at the edge and in between we have the PoE extender, 100 meters Ethernet cable and another 100 meters total of 200 meters distance. Over this side, we have the switch, the router, network radio recorder and the monitor. So now let's do the connection together. First, I will use a short patch cord to connect the router with the network video recorder. And then using another Ethernet cable to connect the router to our switch. This is a WebSmart PoE switch. Then I'm going to connect with the 100 meters Ethernet cable that's coming over here. And using the PoE extender in between. This is also a special mounting tool you can mount it on a DIN reel wherever you want. This is the PoE input port we have in and out. So make sure you plug in to the right one. The input and the output connecting to another 100 meters Ethernet cable and mount it back on the DIN reel. I already took out the neck and the gland for easy installation, but if you are going to bury it under the ground, make sure you use a wrench to fasten up the neck and the gland. And other 100 meters, so total of 200 meters distance. Plug it into our PoE bullet camera. Wait for it to receive both power and data at the same time. Let's give it a little bit of time to zoom in and out. As you can see, it's displaying on our monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. It's kind of blurry, but you can still see my hands moving around. So this way is done. And next, I'm going to show you how to utilize the long range PoE switch. So now I'm going to utilize the long range PoE switch by replacing the WebSmart PoE switch and then we'll not need the PoE extender. So first let me unplug this WebSmart PoE switch and then replace it with a long range PoE switch. Power it up. Let's plug it into the uplink port. This is the router. And then this is the 100 meters Ethernet cable. Let's plug it in here so you can see. Make sure you turn this to CCTV mode, which allows it for long range distance. Now we are going to take out the PoE extender because we don't need it anymore by simply using a coupler to join those Ethernet cable together. This is just a very simple coupler to join those together and it is already connected. Then I'm going to also connect with a wireless SS point. Since 
A long-range PoE switch can supply up to eight PoE devices. As you can see, we already have the video displaying on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video and we don't need the PoE extender, only the coupler and the long-range PoE switch. So in case we're running cables is impractical in your warehouse, you can consider the wireless access point. These devices establish wireless connection between remote areas, eliminating the need for extensive cabling while providing high-speed connectivity. So installing PoE extender in a large warehouse can be highly beneficial, but it might come with certain challenge that you need to consider. Signal interference, power overload, device compatibility, overheating, and physical obstacles. So please make sure you ensure a proper grounding of the equipment, use shield and high quality if that cable for the whole setup. And remember that I mentioned about using two PoE extender to get up to 300 meters continuous run. Here's a video about it if you're interested. Thank you very much for watching us today. I'll see you in the next video.